welcome back to our channel. Today our topic is about American Psychological Association or APA 7th edition referencing style. The American Psychological Association established a set of rules designed to ensure clarity of communication and site sources within the social sciences to avoid plagiarism and construct accurate reference citations. All of the APA writing rules can be found in the publication manual of the American Psychological Association, including the details on how to organize professional journal articles and how to cite sources and, of course, how to list references. Here are some of the past presidents of the American Psychological Association. We have William James, 1894 and 1904. James McKean Cottle, 1895, James Mark Baldwin, 1897, Hugo Marston Burge, 1898, John Dewey, 1899, Mary Whitton Calkins, 1905, Edward Thorndike, 1912, Clark Hall, 1936, Carl Rogers, 1947, Harry Harlow, 1958, Abraham Maslow, 1968, Albert Bandura, 1974, Philip Zimbardo, 2002, and Robert Sternberg, 2003. It is worthy to note that majority of them were engaged in the field of psychology and be reminded that American Psychological Association and American Psychiatric Association both share acronym APA. But American Psychological Association is bigger in terms of membership, while American Psychiatric Association is the publisher of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM-5. And Stanley Hall was a pioneering American psychologist and educator. Hall was the first president of the American Psychological Association. His interest focused on childhood development and evolutionary theory. And a review of General Psychology Survey, published in 2002, ranked Hall as the 72nd most cited psychologist of the 20th century. APA Publication Manual was published during the year 1952, first edition, and the second edition was published in the year 1974, followed by the third edition that was the year 1983, and 1994 4th edition, 2001 5th edition, 2009 6th edition, and the recent edition was published year 2019, month of October. Since we keep up to date with the latest citation trends, let us take the time to determine the most essential changes between APA 6th edition and APA 7th edition. So let me present to you the overview of the major changes in the APA 7th edition. First, book references now omit the publisher location. Second, journal articles should always include an issue number. Third, you can add up to 20 authors in a reference list instead of only 7. Fourth, social media examples were added. And lastly, websites URLs omit the retrieve from or access from phrase. And be reminded that in the APA reference list, the writer should provide the author, year, title, and source of the cited work in an alphabetical list of references. If a reference is not cited in the text, it should not be included in the reference list. And the reference format varies depending on the document type, if that is journal article or book, but generally speaking, always follows the same pattern of author, date, title, and source. One of the major changes included in the APA manual 7th edition is that publisher location is no longer included in the reference list. In the 7th edition referencing style, geographical details of a published book are already excluded. Publisher location is no longer required. The rise of academic co-authorship is reflected in the new APA format. As APA 6th edition allowed seven author names in a reference entry, 
APA 7th edition now allows up to 20 author names in a reference entry. However, sources with 21 authors or more should list the first 19 author names and an ellipsis followed by the last author of the source. The updates in relation to URLs in APA 7th edition is that we may now finally omit the wording retrieve from or access from before a URL. URL specifies the location of digital information and the internet and can be found in the address bar of your internet browser. URLs and references should link directly to the cited work when possible. Also, in APA 7th edition, examples of social media sites such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook may be included. Other alphanumeric identifiers such as the International Standard Book or ISBN and the International Standard Serial Number ISSN are not included in the APA style references. In-text citation have two formats, parenthetical and narrative. In parenthetical citations, the author name and publication date appear in parentheses. For example, new normal and K-12 education needs online platforms and teaching to deliver academic learning in the absence of physical contact, Arsenas 2020. In narrative citation, the author's surname appears in running text, and the date appears in parentheses immediately after the author's name. The author's name can be included in the sentence in any part of the paragraph. For example, Arsenas 2020 emphasized the dire need of using digital teaching pedagogy in addressing the new normal in K-12 education. In rare cases, the author and date might both appear in the narrative. In this scenario, exclude parentheses. For example, in 2020, Arsenas noted the accessibility of module and school learning material or SLK in rural areas due to lack of internet connection for academic learning. Let us sum it up. For book in a reference list, invert name so that the last name comes first, followed by a comma and the initials. Leave a space between initials, retain the order of author's name for multiple authors. Then, place the copyright year in parentheses and with a period. For the title of the book, capitalize only the first letter of the first word. For a two-part title, capitalize the first word of the second part of the title. Also, capitalize proper nouns, italize the title and with a period. If the book have an addition, include the number in parentheses after the title but before the period. For the publisher, include the name of the publisher followed by a period. Do not include publisher location. Does the book have DOI? Include a DOI if available. DOI means Digital Object Identifiers. It is a unique alphanumeric string that identifies content and provides a persistent link to its location on the internet. For a journal article, let me appreciate first the Education Resources Information Center or ERIC for the sample article that we will use for this discussion. And also, a special thanks to Big Raktar and Dogan 2017 for giving their contribution in the field of education and research. So let us use this article as an example. Invert name so that the last name comes first, followed by a comma and the initials. May include up to 20 authors, leave a space between initials, retain the order of author's name for multiple authors. Then, place the copyright year in parentheses and with a period. For the title of the article, capitalize only the first letter of the first word. For a two-part title, capitalize the first word of the second part of the title. Also, capitalize the proper noun. Do not italicize and with a period. For the name of the periodical, capitalize all major words in the periodical name, followed with a comma. Italicize the periodical name but not the comma after. For the volume number, Italicize the volume number. Do not put a space between the volume number and the parentheses around the issue number. For the issue number, do not italicize the issue number or parentheses. 
follow the parentheses with a comma. If there is no issue number, that's okay. Follow the volume number with a comma. Include the article page range. Use an end dash. Do not put spaces around the end dash and with a period. If the article have a DOI, include a DOI for all works that have one. Do not put a period after DOI. But if there is no DOI, just include the URL. And now, let me share with you the 10 free online journals and research databases. First, we have Paparity, Google Scholar, Core, Science Open, Education Resources, Public Library of Science, CIA World Pathbook, Education Resources, Information Center, or ERIC, Semantic Scholar, and Directory of Open Access Journals. And let me share also with you the free online plagiarism checker tools like plagiarisma.net. plagiarismsoftware.net. plagscan.com. duplichecker.com. keytext.com. and plagiarismchecker.x. And I would like to stress that careful citation practices will strengthen your credibility as a researcher because it serves as a fact-checking tool to verify your research work. Special appreciation to all my online sources, cited online journals and research databases, mentioned online plagiarism checker sources, especially to American Psychological Association or APA. Thank you very much. That's all for this session and happy writing everyone.